So it was the men. Take the castle. Show no mercy. Kill any in your path. We will attack from the east and the south. All forces, advance! Cannot be stopped. You seem to be in a good mood, cousin. I see I must double my efforts. I will fight for what I believe in. Our forces have taken damage from a fire attack within the southern gate of Juan Castle. You are powerless before me! I must retreat! This is not the end! My ambition cannot be stopped. If we allow rage to cloud our judgment, Jia Shu will have won. You must pull back and draw him out instead. How can you stay so calm? Tianwei is dead! Do you feel nothing? My lord, our forces are under fire at the eastern gate. They request help! Jia Shu is responsible for all of this. Me. 
this moment. My ambition cannot be stopped. My lord, the UBL's forces have arrived and are making for our main camp. Before me. You are powerless before me. I must retreat. This is not the end. forces are moving out from one castle. Hmm. Just as I thought. Now is our chance. Dispatch a unit to lie in wait near the western bridge. Yes, my lord. I will send Guo Jia and Li Dian. <laughs> In the heat of battle, I allowed myself to be drawn into the fight. You are powerless before me. 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 You will learn to regret this moment. My ambition cannot be stopped. Let us be off. There is no chance of defeat with you on our side. You are powerless before me. I made a miscalculation. <laughs> That was great, Lord Cao Cao. Now I'm gonna work even harder. Teamwork was flawless. Take Zhang Xiu from behind. Give the order to the ambush troops. My lord, our ambush is worth. The enemy is in disarray. Now is our chance to strike. 
My lord, Yashu has made his move. You will not take the castle from me. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You are powerless to see me. Dog shows in trouble. Come on, face dog and face my fury. You watch the angry. I'll keep our lord safe. You are powerless to see me. I will take care of the forces to the rear. You must avenge the Anwei! Fight me now! For glory! You are powerless before me! Hang in there! Victory is all established! Retreat! You are this is not the end! Me. My ambition cannot be stopped. Wow, you're amazing. I'm gonna have to work harder. You are powerless before me! Jiangxiao needs to be less impulsive. I warned him about possible damage. But you, you are a great man indeed. To stay calm in such a difficult situation. Unworthy. I will not kill you. What? You would show mercy to a man like this? Not mercy. You killed Dian Wei and drove me to the brink. Your talents will serve to bring my rule closer. <laughs> you are a wise man, my lord. No mercy. If I find you are no use to me, you are dead. The Anwei was dead. After successfully avenging his loyal retainer's death, Cao Cao set out in search of a path forward. A path of ambition. A path that would quickly and effectively lead him to domination of the land. A path that some would deride as cruel and ruthless. Cao Cao was determined to walk this path alone if necessary. He returned to Xu Zhang, and together with his new strategist, Jia Xu, he began plotting his next move. Yuan Shao and his massive army in Hebei. The self-proclaimed emperor Yuan Shu. Jia Xu determined that Cao Cao must solidify his current position before taking on these two mighty foes. Just then, Liu Bei, who had taken Tao Qian's place as ruler of Shu, came in search of help. 
he had been attacked by none other than Lu Bu, who had been under his protection. Cao Cao gathered Xia Ho Duin, as well as Liu Bei and his men, and set out for Xia Pi in Shu province. Liu Bei, Lu Bu, and Cao Cao. Among the fields of Shu province, three heroes of the age would soon be engaged in heated battle. Lord Cao Cao, I thank you for helping me recapture Shu province. Lu Bu is an enemy to us all. In any case, I am grateful for your assistance. I do not engage in actions that do not provide me with some benefit. For example, somebody... I... Well, it is about time I move out. Lay siege to Xiapi Castle. Lu Bu's time is up. Right then. I think we should go secure the Western Gate. On you, my lord values your skill in battle. This is your chance to prove that he is right. I have nothing to prove. My blade's only purpose is to keep my brother safe. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. <laughs> That's more right. Yours is the first head I shall seek! 
Another victim has fallen before. Floodgate right now. If we can break it, we can flood out the castle. Most impressive, I must say. I could stand to learn a thing or two from you.
Here is where the real battle begins. We must claim Lu Bu's head. Don't fall behind, Guan Yu! My lord! General! Don't just stand there! Follow me! Lord Chaho Dwin, the flood attack has worked, but your wounds... I'm fine. The gates are open. We must... Next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. The indulgent flame. The indulgent flame. Your time is up. We'll bring it quicker. The indulgent flame. Shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Another victim has fallen before me. My lord, the enemy units to the north are on the move. They are heading straight for Lord Cao Cao. Target is Tao Tao. I have no quarrel with you. Step aside. I'm afraid you will only make it as far as me. We have the upper hand. Keep moving forward. We engulfed in flame. We engulfed in flame. We engulfed in flame. Your time is. Most impressive, I would say. I could stand to learn a thing or two from you. Be engulfed in flame! Your time is up. Don't 
glory. Another victim has fallen before me. be able to make it through this. That was close. Thank you for aiding us. This doesn't look good. Somebody, send help at once. Your time Come is Come at up. me in your thousand words if you wish. You'll regret your brashness in hell. Oh, you realized I was in danger. I am sorry your for burning you. Your wits are a match for mine. You want to beat me? Then show me what you can do! Your time is up. Hey, you're not bad! I can't let you beat me, though. I am here to fix some personal. Your time Prepare is yourself.
family are waiting for your return. You cannot die here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We may not be able to make it through this. Your time is up. Someone tie this animal up. I won't forget this. Another victim has fallen before me. Some dignity, Lu Bu. Die like a man of courage and integrity. Kill Lu Bu. Tao Tao! Curse you! Why? So, would you have shown mercy to that animal? that Liu Bei would relish the opportunity to face such a powerful opponent. And just as he expected, Liu Bei immediately set out for battle. Indeed, Cao Cao would use anybody at his disposal in order to further his ambitions, even the Emperor himself. However, his actions began to lead to unrest within the Imperial Court. And so, the Emperor issued a decree that Cao Cao was to be assassinated. Kill me? I would never presume to do so. 
your highness. I tried to have you killed. I would have no right to complain. <laughs> you are a wise man, your highness. If it is your wish to kill me, I will not stop you. You frighten me. You shed no tears for your allies. You side with the enemy if necessary. When someone is not needed, you get rid of them. Even if it is me. A country needs its people. And without a ruler, the people are lost. Your Highness is needed. At least, while I am alive, that is. Your presence allows me to move freely. To walk upon my ordained to build a new and better land. As ordered, Liu Bei attacked the Yuan Shu army and emerged victorious. In his weakened state, Yuan Shu was no longer a match for Cao Cao and passed away shortly thereafter. It was then that suddenly Liu Bei rose in rebellion. Cao Cao was determined to bring his massive army down upon Liu Bei's forces, leaving none unpunished. Liu Bei was a mere nuisance whose blind devotion to the concept of virtue would only lead to more chaos. Liu Bei's army crumbled before the might of Cao Cao's ambition. Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land with no place to call his own. As a result of this fierce battle, Cao Cao welcomed a new general into his ranks. It was none other than Guan Yu, a warrior who combined honor, loyalty, bravery, and intelligence into one formidable package. Having coveted Guan Yu for a long time, Cao Cao was pleased to finally have him by his side. Finally, he was ready to face his old friend, Yuan Shao. Having made the necessary preparations, he advanced his army toward Guangdu, the site where all would be decided. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao, their battle for control of the land was about to begin. It is clear what strategy we must use. Place decoys at Bai Ma and Yanjin. Then launch attacks from each unit. He has numbers, but Yuan Shao is indecisive and imperceptive. He is a man of the past. This should be enough to deal with him. However, the problem is those decoys, though. The enemy is so great in number that they'll be simply overrun. Exactly. <laughs> You're a smart man. I can see why our lord values you so. Forgive me. It was not my place to speak out. Then you will have to go yourself, father. So I would be the decoy. <laughs> Quite brilliant, Lord Zaobi. Your father must be proud. Lord Cao Cao is the perfect bait. We can lure out the enemy at both by Ma. As he makes his advance up the middle, we'll strike. Then we can squeeze the enemy in the... I see. You look to divide. Priest, our lord and I will attack from Yanjin. Understood. Very well. Jia Shu, 
Show me the intellect you are famous. In. 